Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I will teach you how to draw the yin and yang in Affinity Designer. The yin and yang is a mystical symbol originating from Chinese spirituality. It represents duality and complementarity. So the first step is we go to File, New, and we create a new document. And we give it 2000 by 2000 pixels in dimensions. And then we are going to add some center guides to the document. So horizontal and vertical center guides. And then we take the ellipse tool. We set the fill to pure white and the stroke to known. And then we'll go ahead and we draw a circle and we give it 800 by 800 pixels in dimensions. And then we take the move tool and we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate the circle we take the lower circle in the control panel, we set it fill to black, and we set its size to 840 by 840 pixels. And then with the move tool, we center it in the middle of the composition. And then we take the ellipse tool again, we draw a circle, a black circle and to give it 400 by 400 pixels in dimensions. And then with the move tool we position it right here, right underneath the horizontal axis and centered on vertical axis. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate it and then we move it upwards so that it sits on the vertical axis. And then we change its color to white And then we take the ellipse tool again, we draw a circle, and we give it 100 by 100 pixels in dimensions. So these are going to be the small dots. And with the move tool, we position it in the middle of the medium black circle. And then we press Ctrl J to duplicate it. And then we position it in the middle of the medium white circle, and we set its color to black. Alright, so now we have all the elements that we need to draw the figure. So there is one more step to complete the figure, is that we need to remove the right half of the large white circle. So there is two ways that we can do that. So the first way is to do it with the subtract operator, and the second way is to do it with the shape builder tool. So I'm going to show you both ways. So to do it with the subtract operator, we take the rectangle tool and we draw a rectangle that covers all the right half of the figure. And then we press shift and we also select the white circle, the large white circle. And now we click on the subtract operator and that removes the right part of the white circle. So now the figure is complete. And now I'm going a few steps backward to show you how to do it with the shape builder tool. So first we're going to select all the elements except for the large black circle. So we do it by clicking on the first circle in the control panel and clicking on shift and then clicking on the circle before last. So that selects them all except for the large black circle. And then we take the shape builder tool, we set the action to minus, clean up to none. And now we are going to draw a stroke here. So that removes this part of the figure and that creates the figure as we want it. Alright, so that was it for today's tutorial. You learned how to draw the yin and yang in Affinity Designer using both the Subtract Operator and the Shape Builder tool. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time, bye!